Kathy Miller, an advisor at Waukesha Transition Academy Sales Services. We work with young adults that are at the end of their school career, getting ready to head into the adult world. Many times our young adults are adept at fading into the background, filled with anxiety about being laughed at or making a mistake or doing the wrong thing. They know that they struggle where others do not. Writing student voice really matters because it gives our students, especially those um, who aren't able to yet vocally, verbally communicate, the ability to share their knowledge. And we'd like them to eventually be able to move into carrying on conversations and participating in classroom discussions and sharing their knowledge because there's so much in there that we're not able to bring out before that we can show them that they're able to bring out. The iPad would be the key that opened the door to the world of learning for young adults, an equalizer. Young adults and I, for the first time, were learning together, the same content, collaborating. Is that it really promotes independence and it eliminates part of the need for relying on other people and empowering the student themselves to be able to learn at a different pace, but yet in their own way. So one of the big things that the district has provided that a lot, a lot of districts haven't provided to students to provide assistive technology to students in the form of speech output applications on their iPads. And this has really helped kind of change the way that we give instruction to students by allowing them to have a way to choose their answers and to show them to us in a completely different way. And so students that we thought we didn't know exactly how we were going to find out what they were thinking or how they were feeling or what they were getting from their educational experience. We're able to now gradually coach them into using these devices. The first young adult to jump in with both feet was unable to read print and struggled to write more than his name. Asked what would you like to learn, his response was swift and sure to build a website about the dangers of texting while driving, walking, and riding a bike. The impact of what we were doing became crystal clear on the day young adults met with Steve Schloman, Brian Yearling, and Dale Van Curen. I was not with them at the table, confidently showing what they were creating and answering questions. After the gentleman left, the three young, men, the three young adults were very emotional and in tears. They saw me, not my disability, me, was the statement that tore at my heart. At that moment, young adult voice went from an interest and became a passion. I think the most um, important thing is to always presume competence, and that is that as educators, we share the belief that all students have the ability to learn, and they just might show it in a different way or need access to a different tool that we haven't yet found in our toolbox. So giving students the choice of when and how to complete tasks that are assigned to them, that are at their level. Yes. It's important to have high expectations and to build a classroom community around the student of, of helping in a way that doesn't overhelp or overservice a student, but to help them be more independent. Young adults that may have been content to hide in the background are now vibrant learners, practicing skills that they need to succeed in any environment they're in as adults. I would end this with a young adult's reflection during his last week with us. Thank you for believing in me until I could believe in myself.